Cooking the Payson Bigfoot sighting. A video shot near Payson allegedly shows a Sasquatch walking through the forest. But Bigfoot enthusiasts, including a professor of anatomy at Idaho State University, say that Payson video has some major red flags. Dr. Jeffrey Meldrum has been tracking Bigfoot for 20 years. He believes the top-level predator is very real. But he doesn't believe the video shot near Payson is real. Fox 13's Matt McDonald shows us why. Dr. Jeffrey Meldrum studies footprints. The hook was really set for me as far as my research interest in, in 1996 when I witnessed some, some tracks in uh, southeastern Washington. These are the prints he saw. And you could say he's been on Bigfoot's track ever since. This is an example of a footprint that was cast in uh, 1964. On Monday, this video surfaced of a possible Bigfoot sighting near Payson. Freeze it right here. The face is very shiny, and the edge between that shiny face and the surrounding hair is very, very sharp, which smacks of a, a, a cheap, fabricated costume. Other red flags for Meldrum? The way the creature moves, the fact that it took a year for this video to surface, and the lack of any other evidence, like pictures of footprints left behind. There's no place you're going to go find a, a Bigfoot community. They're all just passing through uh, from, from Logan, clear across the tops of the mountains, clear down into Provo, which is where that one was, and uh, down in through Payson. Dave Carver has been interviewing Bigfoot witnesses in Utah for years. On the Payson video? That could easily be real. Uh, it could easily uh, not be real. But I don't want to call people fakers because if you do that enough, then nobody will send you information, and pretty soon you'll lose real things. He is also questioning the lack of supporting evidence, but he's not questioning his own beliefs. I know what I know, I know what I've seen, and I don't need any more. It's these bipeds, these unknown bipeds are as real as can be. I'm convinced these creatures, uh, while they very likely exist, are extremely rare. They're large animals, top predators, so there just aren't that many of them out there in, in the environment. With 250 casts from footprints like this in his office, Meldrum believes the legend is real. Matt McDonald, Fox 13.